All right, here we are. We're, this is uh, Vicky Three. Is we play games. We're doing it. We're we're rolling. We're fighting. We're, <laughs> like, why? What the hell is going on in this? Right? Like, oh my god, I've got a hundred thousand debt, and I'm not even building anything. What am I doing? What is going on in this? Oh right, I have an enormous army right now because I I went from like one war to another to another in such rapid su succession that um no one got to demobilize and so we've just had like the army just wandering around uh i don't i don't know for like three or four years at this point oh my god we fought brazil and france um and then that was good and now and now brazil is our puppet and we can annex them um soon and then we can annex argent oh my god we they're all loyal right right they're all loyal I forgot about that. That's a big deal. All right. So what else? What else we got? Um, uh, no, I'm not giving you that. What? Portuguese war operations and puppet. All right. Good. That'll show them. That'll show those Portuguese. So we're just gonna puppet them. Our our what's our infamy at now? It's like two two hundred and forty one. Two hundred and forty one. Two hundred and forty one and climbing. Here we go. This is gonna be this is gonna be a heck of a game. I wonder how how far I can go before I get before I I feel mindlessly addicted to to infamy. I think I think the next two wars are gonna be either Canada then Mexico or then Mexico then Canada. Right now Canada is not able to join. Yeah, no, we can go to Mexico first. Let's go to Mexico after 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 picking up Portugal. We'll we'll hop over to Mexico way. Eh? But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pay down debt a little bit first. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really care about the infamy, but um, we do need to work on our economy. This is a little much. <laughs> just, just a little much. What, what, what else are we doing? I feel like we're not working. No, we're not working on a law. That's probably not an intended thing. Um, minus thousands. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh... Let's see. Graduated taxation is going to be less money. So, no, we're not going to do that. Um, interventionism seems fine. Worker protection seems fine. That seems fine. We could go to public health insurance. That would be all right. That would disappoint the industrialists. They would get mad, I guess. Uh, 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 I don't care if we give the devout a little bit of power. Are they, I think they're still marginalized, aren't they? Yeah, whatever. They can, the they can run the charity hospitals. Leave them alone, like <laughs> you, you monster, you absolute monster. All right, yeah, cool. Cameroon, sure. Yeah, one of my one of my good friends from uh, from State College was from Cameroon. That was that was a cool place. All right, what are we doing? At, oh, right, yeah. All right, so for people who are learning things, see this. This means that Americans are getting good. Americans are getting blown out of the sky by, by somebody. I don't know who, but we're we're gonna put a stop to this. Escort convoys. Wait a second. No, that's not it. Wait a second. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> the, the UI there. I I do not feel like I I know it perfectly yet. Um, there we go. That's that's what we're supposed to do. Because now it's gonna patrol over there and keep the, the keep the convoys open. And this one is over here. Um, where are you? Are you? Yes. There we go. We got it. Uh, you... All right, listen. We're not even fighting for anything at this point. So, sure. You get it. You got it. You got the whatever it was that you thought you were getting from that, Ching. I, I hope you're proud. Um, right. Let's let's uh, fix up. Let's fix up our economy a little bit. We have technology that's just burning off doing nothing. Sure, let's go to minting. There we go. Done. I like I like I like minting when we're when we're piling on debt like this. Uh a eh, eh. good good good. Let's let's build some stuff, I guess. Oh right, we oh my god, Walker. Jesus Christ. You built up like a, a massive rubber thing and then never used it for anything, didn't you? Yeah, that's yep, that's pretty standard. That's pretty standard. It's just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. 
I hope you guys are enjoying uh, playing Victoria 3. I, I'm, I'm having a great time. I know that there's some people still who are not so sure about it, but that's that's okay. I just... All right, so we could go... We could switch straight over to government run instead of uh, publicly traded. I would be okay with that. It would mean a much... Nah, I, well, all right, so our, our, our investment pool is enormous, so we should build. We should absolutely be building. So let's let's do a little bit of uh, a little bit of building plan, right? Let's do let's talk through some building plans. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set up some stuff. I'm gonna make sure that all these things are. I, I think there needs to be a way to like set this as a permanent thing, but I'm not. I don't know. I don't know anything about this stuff. The people who know stuff about this stuff, you should listen to them. That's the important thing. All right, here we go. Oh, we could build some furniture. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, 277 infrastructure, sure. There you go. 10 stack in New York. Um, and 47 infra infrastructure, 5 stack in Ohio. And then we already got a, that one there. So Kansas, you've got no, po no peasants. No peasants. Oops, no peasants. All right, well, we will unpause and I'll just start looking here. Oh, right, Santiago. Santiago. Yeah, Santiago is going to help us print money. Santiago is going to be huge by the end of this. This is going to be the best thing that ever happens to them. Oh, California? California way. California way. California way. Let's go. Let's go. And let's see. Who else has a bunch of peasants? Anybody have a bunch of peasants? Raise your hand if you have a bunch of peasants. The government will help you. You don't need to be afraid of them anymore. Gold mines are important. I should, I should double check that we don't have any gold mines that I'm not set up. So gold mines, they this is going to sound like a broken record for the people who've been here before, but gold mines are great. Gold fields are just events. They, they, they're just an opportunity for your pops to complain about things to you. The lazy good for nothing pops all right so we could we could do that um yeah sure yeah absolutely we're gonna have the revolutions of 1848 here on we play games in um the united states of america i guess is where we're doing this i'm just not sure what their radical goals are going to be because um there's there's most of the stuff that would make for a cool radical game we're already doing. <laughs> well, good good luck, radicals. I hope you find something to to erupt into civil war over. Enact agrarianism. I who is who is doing this? Hmm. I don't I don't know. Why what is going on over there? All right, the party the party will never end. The party will never end. Oh, are you are you starting a a cut down the size Great Britain? Is that what's going on here? Uh uncertain. Uncertain you say. All right. Well, we will mobilize all generals and we will activate conscripts and we will activate here and here. We're just going to activate a whole bunch of conscripts, and then we're just going to demand that they give us Upper Canada, um, and then we'll save them the hassle of us having to declare war on them. So the fact that we have a massive investment pool means that as long as we're not building government stuff, we can kind of build for free for a meaningful chunk of war. And so I'm not going to aim for anything that I don't really care about. I'm declaring neutrality here, neutrality here, and neutrality here. This is America doesn't care about any of this stuff. We we got we got we got to fight with a real with a real bad guy here. Transfer subject and we want Upper Canada. We could take British Raj if we wanted to be really nonsensical about it, but we want to we want to we want to get all of this. So we're going to get all of this. And then we're going to unpause and we're going to we're going to get it going.
we're just going to take over uh, North America and we'll hold it and then we'll use our, our navy to just blow anybody else up who tries to come over. And we're the defender too? I don't know, guys. Like, I don't know what you thought you were getting out of this, but I don't think it's going to go the way you think it's going to go. At least not, not in my opinion. And we do want to make sure, again, that our weapons are going to be relatively inexpensive. Oh, oh, is there no one we can get that from? That would be, that would be good. All right, in that case, we're going to go ahead and push some munitions plants to the front. So you'll see there, I've noticed that, oh, we're way behind on munitions. That's going to make those really expensive for me to keep supplied to my troops. So I went in and I, I held down alt and I just built a bunch of stuff. I know that like normally the, these videos are not very instructive, but I just I wanted to do something. I did a bunch of Galaxy Brain stuff yesterday, um, just trying to to get like a good a good shot for the um, for the the Komei stuff, and and I had a, a really fun time with it. But I'm I'm a, I'm a, I just want to I just want to do something a little more relaxed today, and that's that's what the campaigns are all about, baby, right? Just enjoying, just enjoying it. And this is, I, it is a hell of a game. I enjoy it. All right, Italy is attacking Tripolitania. Don't care. Uh, yeah, Dutch East Indies, don't care. And what we're, and now we're gonna get, we're gonna get Upper Canada, no matter what. Um, are you really gonna, are you really gonna push it? Are you really gonna push it, bud? I mean, we we can fight. We can fight. I will fight you. If you if you think you've got this, then that's up to you. I would I would ask you show me, show me. All right, so we will be able to do raid convoys over here, and we'll do raid convoys over um, here and we'll do raid convoys I think that's probably the best spot so now we're just going to have our, our ironclads just try to dominate the seas because if we can just dominate the seas then again like I'm not I don't really care if all these Europeans keep interfering in America because it's not none of their business this is my business American business is business. Blah, 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 blah. I could probably also go ahead and start uh, reducing relations with some of these guys, like Argentina. So that way I could just annex them. Oh, oh, I can't do that because I'm in a Diplo play here, but I might be able to do that immediately afterwards. After. Great Britain, what were you thinking? Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna add any other war goals because I don't want to have any other war goals ticking down. Because my, um, I do want to, I do want to pay this off while also building stuff. And and right now, <laughs> right now that's not happening. <laughs> but but uh, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. This, this, everything's fine. Everything is totally fine. Yep, absolutely, totally fine. Oh. All right, that's like 14 minutes. This that's okay. We'll see. We'll see how the let I'll play through until it's either a war or it's not a war, and that'll be the end of the episode, right? That seems like a natural a natural narrative logical stop. Let's see. Do we get to fight the British? Do we get to fight the British? We fought the French. We fought the Russians. We're about to fight the British. Or do we get Canada for free? We are fighting the British. All right. Woo! Sweet. Two arms. That's that's uh that's going to be this episode.